Hello and welcome to That's English. Hello and welcome. Today we're talking about shops and shopping. Mm, my favourite subject. Yes, we know. Our documentary today is about a place where you can go shopping. Yes, it's a farmer's market in Britain. Do you know what a farmer's market is, Ashley? Do farmers sell pigs and cows at a farmer's market? No. Local farmers and people who grow and make food sell their food direct to the public. Es un mercado donde los agricultores venden sus productos directamente al público. Ah, so the food is always fresh. Yes. Today, Liz is buying food at a farmer's market near her house. You need to know one word before you watch. Annabel, what's a pie? Mm. Es una especie de empanada o empanadilla. A pie. As you watch the documentary, see if you can find the answer to the question. Look at this list of food. What does Liz buy? De nuevo, no te preocupes si no entiendes todo. Relájate y disfruta con el documental. There are some famous markets in England. This is Richmond Farmer's Market. The stalls here sell all kinds of food and drink. Thank you very much. Hi. Cheers, bye. All made specially for the market. Liz Johnson is buying food for dinner tonight. Um, have you got any cheese flans? I only have uh, a goat cheese and spinach uh -huh. flan. Okay. And, or, and... or I have a pumpkin and feta pie. Right. And so how much is that? That is uh, three fifty a slice. And and how much are these? The um, uh, Scotch eggs um, two fifty each. Right, and and how much are those? They are two fifty. Right. Could I have um, half a pound of the salad, the Greek salad, and I'll have a hundred grams of the feta pie. No problem. What time? And. How much are the fidget pies? Fidget pies are six pounds each. Six pounds. Or two for ten pounds. Right. And they all freeze for up to a year. Ah, oh, that's brilliant. Right. Could I have uh, three? Um, yes, I'll have one of the fidget pies. Mm -hmm. No, the, the one behind. This one? That one. Yes, yep. that's lovely. And I'll have one of the steak pies. And how much is this one? That's six pounds as well. Six pounds yeah. as well. And the Bakewell tart? Bakewell tart is four pounds. Right, yes, I'll have that one. Sure. So, how much will that be in total? That will be 14 pounds, please. Right. Thank you. Thank you. And that's six pounds change. Thank you very much. Should I start with that one pair? Ooh, thank you very much. Conference pair, that one. Mmm. They're really good. They taste really good. How much are they per pound? Works out about a pound at a pound. Oh, OK. Yeah. Can I have uh, a pound of pears, please? And I'll have uh, half a kilo of the Cox's apples. Are they they're Cox's? They are, yeah. Are sure. they English Cox's? They are, yeah. I'll pick some out of it. Mm, lovely. Thank you very much. One pound, please. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. What do you think of Richmond Farmer's Market? I think it's lovely and some lovely traditional and international food. And now the question. What does Liz buy? Choose from this list. Watch. Could I have um, half a pound of the salad, the Greek salad, and I'll have one of the steak pies. Can yeah. I have... 
uh, a pound of pears, please. And I'll have uh, half a kilo of the Cox's apples. That's right. Liz buys some Greek salad, a steak pie, pears and apples. I like markets and small shops, but I usually shop at the supermarket. Why do you shop at the supermarket? Because everything, todo, everything is in one shop. It's very easy. It's cheap and it's quick. Terminas pronto. Usually. Don't you shop at the supermarket? No. I always go to small shops. Why? Because they're always friendly and you get personal service. But they're expensive. Caras. Yes, I know. Now, let's see where other people do most of their shopping. In supermarkets or small shops or... or shopping malls. Centros comerciales. I like to do most of my shopping in Union Square in San Francisco. I normally go to a supermarket because you can find everything in the one place. I do most of my shopping in the local markets. Online. I do most of my shopping online these days. I like to shop in markets. I do most of my shopping in Asda, which is a supermarket. I do most of my shopping uh, in a place called Lakeside Shopping Centre. Some nice shopping malls in Mumbai or the Sunday markets. Interesting, don't you think, Ashley? Yes, very interesting. Next, we have an advertisement. It's an advertisement for a supermarket, or to be precise, a chain of supermarkets. Una cadena de supermercados. Supermarkets UK. As you watch, try to answer the question. What three kinds of shopping does the advert mention? ¿Qué tres formas de comprar se mencionan en el anuncio? Do you like a big supermarket where you can walk around and buy everything you need? Or do you like shopping at specialist shops like a fishmonger's for fish, a butcher's for meat, a baker's for bread, or a greengrocer's for your fruit and vegetables? Or perhaps you prefer internet shopping? At Supermarkets UK, we have all these ways of shopping. Come to Supermarkets UK, the shop that thinks about you. Hello? Hello? Mike, is that you? Yes, dear. Don't forget to do the shopping on your way home. OK, what do we need? Coffee, bananas and milk. OK, the market, it's open until 8 o'clock and it's next door to the studio. Why don't you go to Supermarkets UK? I think it's very expensive, it closes early, it's a bit dirty... Cut! I... Oh, no. Menudo chasco. And now the question again. What three kinds of shopping does the advertisement mention? Watch again. Do you like a big supermarket where you can walk around and buy everything you need? Or do you like shopping at specialist shops like a fishmonger's for fish, a butcher's for meat, a baker's for bread, or a greengrocer's for your fruit and vegetables? Or perhaps you prefer internet shopping? The advert mentions three kinds of shopping. Big supermarkets, small specialist shops and internet shopping. And Supermarkets UK have all three, apparently. <laughs> In traditional Britain, modern Britain, we compare a British high street of the 1950s with a British high street today. High Street es la calle principal de un pueblo o ciudad con muchas tiendas y comercios. Let's watch the video. As you watch, try to answer the question Do the small shops sell the same things today? This is a high street in the 1950s. It is full of small, traditional, specialist shops. There's a butcher's, a baker's, a greengrocer's, a grocer's, a bookshop, a chemist's, a sweet shop, and a stationer's. There is not a big choice of goods in the shops. Most shops open at nine o'clock 
and close at 5.30. All the shops close on Thursday afternoon and all day Sunday. This is a high street today. The town now has a huge supermarket. The supermarket sells all kinds of goods. Food, clothing, stationery, toys, things for the garden and things for the kitchen. It even has a newsagent's, a cafe, a dry cleaner's and a chemist's. It is the same as 10 or 12 shops altogether. But this town also has many small shops. Today, these shops sell food from different countries. There are Polish shops, Indian shops, Lebanese shops, Italian shops. Interesting. Now, what is the answer to our question? But this town also has many small shops. Today, these shops sell food from different countries. There are Polish shops, Indian shops, Lebanese shops, Italian shops. So the answer is that the small shops today sell food from different countries. And that's interesting. The immigrants to Britain are bringing back the small traditional shops. Yes, that's true. See you in the next programme. Goodbye. Bye-bye.